What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and we are back with some Spider-Man news. Spider-Man No Way Home came out in December, and it blew our minds, and it blew away some box office records, and it did this kind of still in a pandemic. But that is the power of Spider-Man, especially three Spider-Men in one film. Spider-Man is one of my personal favorite characters, and now Spider-Man No Way Home is one of the best Marvel movies of all time, in my opinion. And of course, the great news is it looks like Sony and Marvel Studios are not stopping. We have two really awesome pieces of news today to go over that I know fans are going to be really, really excited about. And if you were worried or still are worried about Sony's Spider-Man universe, which I kind of am, perhaps this video will put you a little bit more at ease and help you feel a little bit better about the future of Sony's Spider-Verse and Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So let's dive into the news. And if you love Spider-Man and Marvel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So like I said, we have two brand new reports today that are really great. So let's start off with the one that's gonna give fans hope about the future of Spider-Man in the Sony universe, and that is that Kevin Feige is going to be working a lot closer with Sony for their own projects. So not just Spider-Man in the MCU projects, but their other Sony picture universe of Marvel characters, whatever you wanna call it now, whatever they're calling it now, Kevin Feige is going to be working closer with Sony, kind of as a consultant with them. Now this is fantastic news because a lot of people were really worried about the future of Sony Spider-Verse, especially after Morbius. Yes, it was an okay movie, it wasn't as terrible as everybody said it was, and yeah, now it's a really big meme. But it did not perform well at the box office. But here's the really cool thing, Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige have been working together for a very long time. In fact, their relationship is the only reason that Spider-Man was actually allowed to come into the MCU. In fact, Spider-Man and the MCU all started because Amy Pascal and Sony wanted to consult with Kevin Feige for the third Amazing Spider-Man film. Kevin Feige went over to meet with Amy Pascal in which he said, hey, it's not gonna work. You need to let Marvel Studios do it. You need to scrap your plans for the Amazing Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man needs to come into the MCU. Ultimately, Sony ended up agreeing and that's how we got Tom Holland's Spider-Man appearing in the MCU in Captain America Civil War. War, which was fantastic. It was an amazing moment in the MCU. But the point of the story is Sony wanted to consult with Kevin Feige about their Spider-Man and their Spider-Man universe before, and now it's happening again. And if you take a look at the success of the Homecoming series, especially No Way Home, it makes sense. Kevin Feige did an amazing job. And of course, everybody else involved did an amazing job as well. But to make a long story short, Kevin Feige is now going to be working closer with Sony for their Spider-Man properties, not just Spider-Man itself, but but all of the stuff that they have coming up, Craven the Hunter, Madam Web, and Venom 3, which is supposed to be a Venom versus Spider-Man film, which everybody is really excited for, except we don't know which Spider-Man is going to be in the movie. But this question actually brings us to our newest report, and that is, and the Amazing Spider-Man fans will be really excited, that Andrew Garfield has signed a multi-movie deal, one of these movies possibly being Avengers Secret Wars, which is absolutely insane to hear and awesome. Secret Wars has been rumored to be the next big Avengers project for a while now. There's so many things that point towards this being the next big thing, and a lot of the insiders have said that, yes, it is going to be the next big crossover film. And what's cool is that a lot of them have said that it's actually coming sooner rather than later. Now, this report is coming from Giant Freaking Robot, and they say exclusive Andrew Garfield officially signs on for future Marvel movies. In their report, they say Andrew Garfield isn't done with Marvel just yet. After his instantly classic team up with the Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire versions of Peter Parker and Spider-Man No Way Home, Garfield is coming back for more. Our trusted and proven source has confirmed the Oscar-nominated actor has signed the dotted line to come back for more Marvel flicks. Now, backing up a little bit to right after Spider-Man No Way Home's release, when everybody finally knew for themselves that Andrew and Toby were indeed in Spider-Man No Way Home, a bunch of insiders came out, including Daniel RBK, and said that Sony and Marvel wanted Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire back to do more projects. Now, right away, we speculated that it was going to be more Andrew than Toby, considering Toby Maguire's age, and it looks like we were right. If one of them were going to come back to play a 
a major role in the MCU or the Sony Spider-Man universe, it was going to be Andrew Garfield. And if this report is true, Andrew Garfield will be in Secret Wars and possibly some other projects. Now, Secret Wars does seem to be coming sooner rather than later, and Marvel is definitely paving the way for this buildup, especially with everything that happened in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In Doctor Strange 2, they introduced us to the Illuminati and Incursions. Incursion is basically what happens when two universes collide into each other, causing the destruction of one or both. And this is what actually happens in the comics. The Illuminati try to protect the multiverse from incursions. However, incursions happen and universes collide. Ultimately, this leads up to the events of Secret Wars, where there is only one world left, but there are a bunch of different variants of the same characters. For example, the person in charge of this world, Battle World, is God Emperor Doom, and he uses the Thor Corps as kind of his police. And there are many, many different versions of Thor in the Thor Corps. And that's what Secret Wars is, a bunch of different variants of the same characters. And that's what we're hoping for in the Secret Wars MCU adaptation. And based off of everything we've seen and heard so far, this is the direction that Marvel is going. Which means, eventually, when we get to this movie, it'll be a movie where we do have a bunch of different variants of the same character all on screen together. So multiple different Spider-Men, multiple different Captain America, Iron Man. The cool thing is that anything is really possible in this movie. We could see Robert Downey Jr. back as Iron Man, of course not as the same Tony Stark because he died in our universe, but from a different universe. We can see a bunch of different X-Men there, a bunch of Wolverines together. We could see our new Fantastic Four with the older versions of the Fantastic Four. You get the picture. And if this new report ends up being true, it looks like Andrew Garfield will be back as a different variant of Spider-Man. And the timing of this, I have to say, is pretty coincidental. It's been announced that Marvel Studios is going to be attending San Diego Comic-Con this year. They're also going to be attending D23, of course. And Kevin Feige made it clear that some announcements are coming and we're actually going to start to see how the MCU is going to be connected in Phase 4, 5, and 6. And he pretty much hinted that it's Secret Wars. He said that the hints are there. We could see the hints in the current MCU projects. And all of the hints, like the Illuminati trying to protect the multiverse from incursions point to secret wars. So that is extremely, extremely exciting. Now with the Andrew Garfield news, it doesn't say that he's just coming back for secret wars. They said that it's going to be a multi-movie contract, which means he could be coming back as sort of the main Spider-Man for the Sony universe. And specifically, what I'm personally thinking is that he's going to be the Spider-Man in Venom 3. Since Marvel teased us and didn't really take us all the way with Tom Hardy's Venom fighting Tom Holland's Spider-Man, Putting Tom Hardy's Venom in the MCU just to take him out and leave a piece of the symbiote behind basically confirmed that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is going up against a different symbiote and Venom that is not Tom Hardy. So we're left with a Spider-Man void who is going to be the Spider-Man to go up against Tom Hardy's Venom in the Sony universe. I believe this is going to be Andrew Garfield. I believed this before this news, but now I especially believe this. Especially if you think about that line from Spider-Man No Way Home where Tobey Maguire is talking about fighting an alien, which was Venom, Tom Holland was talking about fighting an alien, which was Thanos, and Andrew Garfield said, I want to fight an alien. Well, it looks like he might be getting that chance to fight an alien in Venom 3, going up against Tom Hardy's Venom, which I really, really think that a lot of fans would really love. I know I personally would, but let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Let me know how excited you are for Andrew Garfield to return to the MCU, possibly in Secret Wars. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things related to the MCU. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.